This is former first overall pick Patrick Steffen. With 13 seconds left and his team up by one, all Steffen has to do is just tap this one in to seal the game. But this mistake right here would change the entire future of the NHL. January 4th, 2007. The Dallas Stars are visiting the Edmonton Oilers smack dead in the middle of the season. And the importance of this game doesn't mean anything more than just picking up the two points. Edmonton got out to an early start, scoring two quick wins courtesy of Ryan Smith and Sean Horkoff. But in the second, Dallas would cut the lead in half with a goal from none other than Patrick Steffen. Now, the goal itself showed glimpses of why Steffen was the first overall pick for the Thrashers in 1999. At 6'2", 205, Steffen had the physical attributes that every team wanted in a franchise player. On this goal, watch him separate with speed in his own end and then create a nifty little give and go with UC Jokinen. The finish post and in is top notch as well, but from start to finish, the speed, skill, and hockey IQ of Steffen was demonstrated on that goal. With that kind of size and talent, Stefan was a highly anticipated first overall pick for the Atlanta Thrashers. But with the Thrashers being brutal and Stefan being a young kid, he struggled to put up any significant numbers that was expected from a first overall pick. Combine that with an unlucky history of injuries all throughout his career, Patrick Stefan never really panned out to be the first overall superstar that was originally projected. So after spending his entire career in an Atlanta uniform, Stefan would get traded to the Stars in the offseason of 2006, and that leads us to this game right here, which by the way has seemingly gotten out of hand, as after Stefan's goal, Edmonton would score two more to make it 4-1 with seven minutes left to go in the second. But despite losing in the Stanley Cup Finals a year prior, the Oilers just aren't the same team and they aren't nearly as good at defending. They would allow four straight goals to make it 5-4 in favor of Dallas. Desperately trying to tie the game, Edmonton would pull the goalie for one last rush. As Oilers defender Marc-Andre Bergeron leads the charge, he fans on the breakout pass and our boy Patrick Steffen is right there to steal the puck and ice this game. Except that's not how this would go down at all. Heels and he'll ice it. Oh, at least I thought he was going to until he blew it. That's unbelievable. Here come the Oilers the other way. And Hemsky's loose. Hemsky, he scored. What the hell just happened? In what would seem to be a surefire goal, Stefan lets up for a second to tap it in with his backhand, and the puck just magically bounces over his stick. In an attempt to recover, he blows a tire, and the rush back leads to a goal. The mistake seen around the hockey world perfectly sums up the career of Patrick Steffen. Unlucky and disappointing. This infamous gaffe would force OT between the Oilers and Stars. And what everyone forgets is that the Stars actually won this game in a shootout, but that single empty net miss would give the Oilers an extra point to finish the season. That lone point would create a ripple effect that would impact the NHL for years to come. You see, both the Blackhawks and the Oilers finished the 2006-2007 season with 71 points, with the Oilers holding the tiebreaker. The Oilers finished 6th last and the Blackhawks finished 5th last. With an 8.1% chance of winning the draft lottery, the Blackhawks won it and received the first overall pick in the 2007 NHL entry draft. That pick turned out to be Patrick Kane. Had the Oilers not received that extra point thanks to Stefan's miss, then they would have finished 5th with 70 points and gotten Kane instead of Sam Gagne. Kane joining the Hawks would change everything for the NHL. With the duo of Jonathan Taves and Patrick Kane, the Chicago Blackhawks became powerhouses in the West and went on to win the Stanley Cup only three years later. That cup win would end the longest active Stanley Cup drought in the NHL of 49 years. Of course, the OT game winner was coming off the stick of none other than Patrick Kane. That goal would kickstart a modern NHL dynasty. Winning a Conn Smythe and two more Cups in 2013 and 2015, Patrick Kane and the Blackhawks changed the standard for what a team could accomplish in the salary cap era. 
Sam Gagne, on the other hand, would be a serviceable player, but was just another name on the list of high-end talent that couldn't do anything meaningful in Edmonton. After missing out on Patrick Kane, the Oilers became familiar with disappointment. Following that 2007 season, they would go 10 years without making the playoffs, despite having numerous first overall picks. Fortunately, their lack of success landed them one of the most gifted hockey players to ever play the game in Connor McDavid. At the time, this brutal mistake didn't mean more than just an extra point in the regular season. But this same mistake created two completely different paths for the Oilers and the Blackhawks. One landed a generational talent that was a catalyst for a modern day dynasty, while the other drowned in failure and spent a decade trying to turn around a franchise. However, without that failure, they would never get Connor McDavid. So the question then becomes, how different does the NHL look today if Patrick Steffen scores on this empty net? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. What's even crazier is that this all actually links to the most recent number one overall pick in Connor Bedard. We recently did another butterfly effect video of how Chicago landed the first overall pick again. And it's crazy how it all ties together since Patrick Kane was traded to the Rangers at this year's deadline in an attempt to tank for Connor Bedard. Anyways, you can check out that video here, but before you do, I want to thank our sponsor, Hockey Training. If you're a hockey player who wants to improve your game, the Hockey Training app and YouTube channel is the best place to be. Armed with drills inspired by some of the greatest NHL players in the world, it is the number one spot to take your game to the next level, both on and off the ice. They have a ton of NHL training videos on their page as well. So if you're interested, I'll leave the links in the bio down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more just like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications.